Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. We're playing a new campaign. Well, attempting a new one with Greece. I had this weird thing where I was playing with Iron Man and it randomly just. Uh, I randomly capitulate even though I lost four out of the 55 points. So I had 51 victory points, which is. More than half national unity, but somehow I don't know. That that's weird. Here we are in another one. Uh, and the, oh, it's just weird. Okay. Industrial. So we are playing with a couple mods. I will show those off in a minute. Once I... You know what? Probably the best thing is just to go ideological drift right off the bat. And just get as many civilian factories up at first as possible. And... Let's see. Train two at a time. Put them here. And let's say, put them along those lines. You'll be going pretty fast here. So we're going to align ourselves with the communists. Just to make this more interesting. And my goal is to have Yugoslavia, Albania, Bulgaria, Romania, Turkey, France, Iraq, Iran, and Egypt. Try to pretty much put back together Alexander's empire. Hardest thing is, you don't have a lot of manpower. So, as it goes, your political power gain is going to be the biggest thing. We have national unity. See, this should fall off when you change your government type. But it doesn't. Which is one thing I find that's kind of weird. Yeah, some of the mods we're playing with is some advanced industry. Extra industry stuff. So, some more newer factories, things like that. Uh, supply. Production growth. Uh, rubber. Allows you to make your own plants, essentially. Start the drift. Just start the drift. This is going to be all... Well, actually, I wonder if... No, because these would be only the ones in... Here. idea these no because this was being a state so this is true towards anything I would conquer okay so that wouldn't apply explain economy let's not worry about that let's get sound workhorse let's get that up Low manpower. Let's just start getting these guys up. And once they get their arms, then the rest of it will go elsewhere. Oh, we got 
another one. Um, industrial. Ultimately, what we're going to want is that. Definitely not playing any games with the Axis. The party must be communist. So all of that will happen when I become communist. So let's not worry about that. Let us jack up our civilian factories and our construction speed. Because that's going to be our, our number one hit. In the long game. Um, that's a good question. Dearest. Once you get your arms, then the reinforcements will get theirs. One, two, three, four. Those all mountains. Besides one. So. Thirty-seven. Um, I might as well just. Actually. Spread around a little bit. We have small change in communism, right? Yeah, communism will be on the rise. So industrial. I should have taken that one. Uh, military factories, dockyards, no. Communism, no. Artillery. Artillery is going to be big for us. There's the Olympiad. This isn't going to go down until I get some... Until uh, I get a critical mass, essentially. What am I missing? I have steel. The oil for ships. Okay, that's fine. It's completely fine. Because the instant I have this, I'm moving back over here. What's their industrial effort going to give them? Where is industrial effort there? So you can give them bonus on industry, stuff like that. Okay. So they're boosting up their infantry. Or industry, my bad. Don't give me another one. Don't give me ten. That's four, okay. War industrialist. Start pushing it to 
I gotta be communist for that. So let's pull it over to communism. Well, popular support. Concentrated industry. Another thing we're going to want is an increase of supplies or resources and trickle back effect. We need high level of trickle back effect. Resource gain. Increase that. So this is going to go to factories. Nope, this one's going to go to trucks. This one's going to go to factory output. It. Not going to pick that up yet. Craft. Militarization of the Rhineland. Okay, so infantry attack. I need more factories. I need to pop out as many factories and get defenses. I need a fortress Greece essentially. I need to have the ability to hold this line against all odds. Okay, I'm getting some kind of cr critical mass at least. What am I short on? Oil. Do I have any source of oil right now? I think that's a negative. No. Your source is down here. There's natural source. Wow, it's a lot of delicious chromium and iron. A lot of delicious chromium. Clear factory, monthly opinion, explain economy. It's extensive conscription. Whoops, day night cycles on. They're messing with Spain. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I am then going to go to... The Bulgarian portion. Let's get allied with the Soviet Union. Let's get some kind of defense. And if I can connect with, with them up there, that's game. So I would like to at least have that oil. That oil would be better, actually. So I'm getting these to f no because that'll come up. Damn it! I need to get before the tension gets high. Because what would be? Can only guarantee communist nations, so. Oh, I just thought about something. 
the war over here hasn't started. So, by default, let us boost popu the communist popularity for 0.25. And what that'll do, that'll shift over to communist China. So excavation's good there. I can't get that. The artillery. And the next one's going to be military factories. Focus. Actually, it's going to be those uh, population increase. And then, no, it's going to be military. Hindenburg disaster. No military. Slog submits to Italy. Construction needs to go faster. Construction needs to go faster. Come on. This needs to go. Trickle back. Con that will need trucks and support equipment. Oh, I need dig in bonuses. That's another thing I didn't concentrate too much on that kind of hurt. Artillery. So I didn't have a lot of dig in bonuses. Spanish Civil War. We all know how that's going to go, and I don't have the manpower to deal with that right now. Really, Earhart disappears. Okay, let's, let's give them a line to gain. Who the British think they are? Doing whatever they want. So as that rises, People's Republic of China will get more land. A free upgrade. Let's also get that going. Okay, so in that case, you should ask me to join your faction soon. Wait, did I pick that up? I did. Hmm. That's weird. So there's that, which means I'm just going to go a traditional route at this point.
Okay, join the common turn. Build, build, none, none. Okay. Oil. Oil. Down a lot of infantry equipment. It's factory repair speed. 1937. Um, let's put a third in total artillery. Steel hospitals, dig in. Clean economy, war economy. Mainline developments. Intervene in Bulgaria. So it's artillery. Seventeen thirty seven, which means I need that. Whew. Okay, next one's nine, so I'll get the next two. So one, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm not gonna get it before then though, that's the thing. The next thing I need to do is these these four and then splash down into here. Well no, because I can't get three hundred days. This will be three hundred days. I'll cut in 30%, which isn't too much. Ooh, that would be something there. So pick up this. That is intriguing. One thing it would help is if this mod also allowed for expanded slots. I know there are a couple of them that like that, but I think they they would conflict. Toad artillery. Intervene in Bulgaria. Or anyone can get an alliance here. Go. Yeah, power, I'll be fine. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll be fine. It's because Bulgaria is decently weak when it comes to supply. And troop strength, which is kind of weird. Must be because I can't get up enough men. States, turn, done, done, 15, 5, now we're finally doing that, so here's the thing, 2, 3, come here, these three, I'm going to hold this border right here. I know it's not a lot, but population. Sense of conscriptions going on here. I can also use Take division defense here. Back to Americana. It's military. Fortress Greece. Let's take Fortress Greece. It'll increase how fast these build. Build that entire thing there. Now, you're going to build this. Five. Do not have enough infantry equipment. I can already see it now. Infantry. There, okay. Um, 1938. Supply company logistics will be good. But I will go with a defense. Because with this one, I'm going to go here. I'm not getting caught with my pants down again. Whoa, Italy first? They might do war with Greece. Oh, this is not good. Yep, there it is. Italy is justifying against us. Oh, this is not good. Which means if they do this, this has to be as fast as possible. That is not good. I need to field these troops now. Definitely preparing for the worst. Building as many of these forts as quickly as possible. Epirus will be the first one done. It's not in the mountains. Okay, good. Italy first. Wow.
Who won this? I mean, National of Spain. So that'd be crazy if Italy... Wow, if you had... Two forms. There it is. There it is. Yep, they are doing it. And Japan joined them. Wow. I take this as quick as possible, but I do have a fallback line if I need to. I need to contain this. Let me keep that in reserve. Consulates of Austria. Port weapons. Okay, so let's take that. Uh, your entire purpose is going to be to hold this line. It was Republic of China? Yeah. Do it. This is working out fairly nicely. Engineer. Damn it. One of the mods is interfering with this. There it goes. Field hospital. Artillery. 
Let's go. Grazer reinforcements gets there. I try to drag him in there. I don't think Yugoslavia is one of them. Spain, Portugal. Took war with me. He can help Turkey. He can befriend Turkey, which is not good. He can befriend R Romania as well. Romania might become a target here shortly. I'm starting to be bogged down. So I kind of figured so. This is Epirus. This is not. This is Northern Epirus. Oh, it's another section of the alliance being built in Epirus. Okay. Concentrated en industry. I said energy. Factory repair. What I could use is this. In development, and then we're gonna go straight into. Well, hell, I don't know yet. Yes, good entrenchment bonuses, good infantry equipment. So we're going to do that. And now, I'm going to bring in materials for the so from the Soviet Union and France. Okay. Well, where's that? Oh, I right clicked on, uh, I left clicked on, I didn't right click. Damn it. There. Okay. Whoo.
Okay, so you pulled the national of Spain. Okay, good. Oh no. You're trying to you're trying to pull in Yugoslavia too. Hmm. That's bad. Trying to pull in Yugoslavia too. Two days, a year and a half, 60 days, at least that'll be 60 days. Impact. If I can force this up, but there's no way in hell I can. Italy declared war in the UK. There it is. I'm going to get lucky here. I'm going to get very lucky here. As for military access? Hell no. Get out of here. It's in communist territory. Building slot infrastructure. Non aggression pack Canada. We'll need that. Alright, I'm always making a critical ass mass of artillery. So not worried about that. There it goes Czechoslovakia. Sea Kings with us. Yugoslavia, don't do it. I'm telling you, Yugoslavia. Okay. 
So, your fallback line is that. All divisions will stay here. To equipment. Guns? Guns, 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 guns. Okay, so you're literally getting all the guns you need. Okay. The radio. And war declared on me fairly early this time. They're not improved artillery, too. Nope. Dig in, boys. It's going to be a long fight. You know what? Do it. Counterattack. Can you do it? Spray Academia, let's go down. I don't want to change what I have going here. Yes, go. Yes! You're making... Actually working. What are you... Poland, what are you trying to do? You did what I thought you would. Okay. Which means we're going to be a... There's going to be three factions... Holy mother of God, so there's going to be one here. Let's look at the factions really fast before we end this. So, you have the Axis, which National Spain pulled out of. So you have the Axis, which is just Germany. Which is just Germany. Germany is alone afraid. Then you have Italy. Or the Novus Imperial Romanum, which is the new, new Roman Empire. Uh, took in Hungary. He's trying to pull in Romania. Possibly Yugoslavia, and he's already conquered that. And Japan over here wants the new Roman Empire. Thing is, not have any of that. You got the Chinese United Front, which we're getting as much land of Republic of Ch People's Republic of China as possible. Then you have the common turn. And then you have the Allies minus the United States at the moment. Who can the United States create their own faction? That's just like hell with it. I guess they could. But uh, what I think is they're kind of stuck with going into the Allies, yeah. 
Does anyone else have any faction-based stuff like that? What I might do, eventually, is just have an interesting game where it's no historical, fo uh, no, no historical AI. I play, I'll play as Germany. I will have, uh, like, the one for Iran turned on, the one for China. Uh, I believe there's one for, like, Canada. There's one for the Czech. Uh, one for Poland, I believe. There's a couple for, like, Finland, Sweden, Norway. There's one for Nationalist Spain, Ireland. And just see just what happens. And also, I'll have, uh, like, the uh, Puppet State one, too. Where I'll have, like, uh, like Egypt, like the Kingdom of Egypt. Kingdom of Libya, uh, this would be like Syria, and there'll be like little carved out uh, parts that are puppet states. That would be pretty cool too. And just see how ridiculous it can get. Just absolutely slugfest ridiculous with factions upon factions against each other. Because right now this is, this is looking cool. This is something that I never thought would happen. You got... Uh, no, uh, the new Roman Empire, the Allies, the Axis, the Common Turn, and then imagine. Oh, and then you got the uh, Medzamorzy or whatever that is. I don't know. I can't. Obviously, I don't speak Polish, but I'll try. And then I believe. Wait, there is another one. Can you do Northern Lights? I don't think you, you can. Can Finland do Northern Lights? No. So Northern Lights, you force... You're actually... Yeah, so Northern Lights you'd have to do by force or just tactically as a player. So I believe there's a, there's a couple of them that pull in these focuses where you can pull in Finland, Sweden, Norway, Denmark into a faction called like Northern Lights or uh, uh, Nordland or something like that. And I believe there's a couple other ones that are cool. Uh, Iran does the whole Persia. Um, yeah, and China's, I'm not sure what it is off the top of my head, but there's a lot of crazy stuff. And just imagine, the Axis are here and then... Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg. Uh, if Nationalist Spain goes over to uh, New Rome and there becomes a war where somehow there's a cooperation between these guys, France can be torn apart. We're probably going to come at blows with Germany. Maybe not. We're already at blows with uh, the New Roman Empire. So that's good for a first episode. There's some crazy stuff. We got to 1939. My goal is to take over Constantinople and not puppet Turkey. My, I want all of this land because it could be big, big resource builders. And all of this delicious chromium and some metal, some steel right there. We can also put in some areas where there's oil. Plus it opens up these oil fields. Plus we keep on going and it opens up these oil fields. And then we might stick it to France too and get these areas and stick oil fields there. Just we could put so much here in production. We just need to deal with this issue here. And wow, I think we have. Let's let's go this. Let's let this go a little bit more. I think we got them in uh, on their heels. So Germany did send some volunteers. We kind of knew they were going to do that. Computing. This is absolutely ridiculous. So if I were to declare war on Yugoslavia, it would pull them in the new Roman Empire. Same thing with these guys. So 
Do we get field hospitals? What to get? Tanks going. Three civilian factories. I got a couple German units there. Okay. My garrison all of Italy. Just because the sole fact I'm a little iffy about keeping some of it unguarded. Of a dual thrust. So it's like and then you guys would move. deal with that and then you guys would deal with the move to here can I move this and then Move it to that. Now that's some hardcore plan there. But I'm most definitely probably going to do. But it'll definitely be next episode when I get everything going here. 1939, let's do that. Can't put in tanks yet. No, get all those up. Okay, so I can pull those in. What other cleanup stuff do I want to do? Make sure there's no issues with supplies anywhere. Is there anything that's. Well, they're not really pissy, which is great. 
Supplies are getting everywhere. What's the next idea before we get out of here? It's Turkey, actually. That was a masterful plan, but unfortunately, it's not going to be this. Okay, so it's going to be split in half. The portion's going to go here. And then this one. I do kind of like that and then they're going to consolidate across this line that actually works pretty damn well France bans communism are you at war with France You're at war with the Allies. So I highly doubt... I will see any anything. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this extra long episode. This is going to go out uh, tomorrow, which is Friday, and we will have a super long episode there for the weekend for you guys to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me how you're liking the ridiculousness we got going on with this faction system here. There's so many factions. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six factions in the game. And if we add some of those other things, we could have seven, eight. I think Spain has its own, so nine. You can literally have nine separate facts at the same time. And I think there's some over here. So we could have like 10 separate factions in the game, which would be just absolutely ridiculous, but absolutely interesting. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.